have here at MUF, they are five years, maybe, no, maybe more, maybe nine, nine years, nine years of, of uh, experimental film uh, that I made in New York as a young artist um, during the 80s, the late 70s, 80s. Um, they were born, I think, of performance art. Without, without being a performer myself, I decided that I would use film to make performance art. So I would use a lot of characters, um, movement. Uh, I worked with composers to develop structures for the films that would be performed. I thought of the films as performance pieces that might be a different form of film than than um, dance film or um, musical in a traditional sense. So I was looking for a new form for, for, for music structure and for lyrics and for performance. The dreamlike quality was probably coming from the fact that I was an image maker and I was working with black space as a way one would work with a canvas, you know, to put something on, to take it, to remove it and put it in layers, to build a kind of layers in, in a work. You know, when a painter works, they start, they also know where they started, they work through the painting, they arrive at something, but it's always in this kind of before and after what took place on the space of the canvas. So I, I think I, I just thought of the film very much as a plastic medium. The game structure was something I found before I made these films. I was very interested in how games were used for learning, you know, children's games for learning, and also how they were, the, the rhythm structures in games set the pace for language to follow, and that, in fact, every, and that was why I liked Yvonne Rayner, because she had a quote that said, your mind is a muscle, which meant to me that we have everything recorded right here in the elbow that we have in here, you know, and I wanted, I just wanted to sort of explore that. So I was very much into physical language and the, 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 the understanding we have of gesture, of placement, of timing, of coordination, of you know, groups of people versus the individual, and you know, fo following that as a sort of, I, I use game as opposed to narrative as a structure so that it would engage the audience. It was my trick, you know, my thing that I found that I could work with to 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 um, to substitute narrative. You are guys. Maybe I'm not spinning it high enough. Are you the better was made in 1983 and it was um, made to be a interactive game. When there was no interactive game at the time, I thought of the audience as the better. I thought of the players as the as a live uh, performance uh, live gambling no what, what would I say um, uh, a players in a kind of roulette game like Robo uh, rollerball um, Tron in a, in a way playing a game for the off-camera audience better and um, one character in the film loses his position in the game and looks at the game board from a different perspective and sees that um, that there's a um, house or a gambling center that's taking all the money from the better. So it was a way of deconstructing um, capitalism in 1984. <laughs> Build a house on this empty lot. Build a home that's new. And see the community come out to you. And Cinderella was another idea for an interactive game that couldn't be made because I didn't have, this was before um, technology reached people like myself that could make games. And I, I wanted to um, take all the Cinderella stories that I had heard, that I had read uh, from uh, many uh, years of researching fairy tale and try to compress them into a uh, a story uh, for young women, you know, for empowerment for young women to like shred the Cinderella story. My gown is twisted, it's turned to knots. I'm not the kind of girl you want, the kind of girl you thought. I made some fine mistakes, I turned out differently. I'm just a product of all that I.
I've been taught. Um, well, that, that particular piece is called Frame Up, and it was created as a commission um, by the Walker Art Center when they were building their museum. So the construction site was a museum, and um, I wasn't allowed to do anything in the site because mm -hmm. it's uh, hard hat and a lot of um, security. So um, I decided that I would make a chance kind of structure where things would happen very accidentally. I did it all after the filming was done and I created the game um, as a, more or less as a sound piece than a visual piece. That particular one, the frame up, is, a, is when, when displayed in a larger room with four speakers, it's, it's much more of a sound piece and it's very playful. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's just what it is, nothing else, but a but a, a chance encounter of balls on a construction site with workers. Mm -hmm.